Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will solve one more problem related to impairment loss. On 1-4-2000, so Z company acquired a building for 7,50,000 with a life of 5 years. On the commencement of 5th year, means starting of or the beginning of 5th year, the asset is tested for impairment loss. At the beginning of 5th year, they are testing the asset for impairment loss. The value in use is 96,000. If the company were to dispose the asset, it is to get 1 lakh rupees. Compute impairment loss and show the entry. So always first you calculate the depreciation. Calculation of depreciation. So the formula to find out depreciation is cost minus residual value divided by life of the asset. So cost. So cost of PP is 7 lakh. 50,000 cost of VP is 7,50,000 7,50,000 minus recoverable value so in question they have not given any recoverable value so recoverable value is 0 divided by life of the asset they have told it is 5 years so life of the asset is 5 years equals 7,50,000 divided by 5 the depreciation will be 7,50,000 divided by 5. It will be 1,50,000. Depreciation will be 1,50,000. This is for 1 year. 1 the Varshaki depreciation is 1,50,000. Next we have to calculate carrying value. Next procedure is to calculate carrying value. So to calculate carrying value at the beginning of 5th year. 5th year beginning 5th year start act because now carrying value now continue beko and then 4 years is completed so 5th year starting means we have already completed 4 year so for that you have to consider cost of PPE minus depreciation cost of PPE minus depreciation cost of PPE in question they have given it is 7,50,000 depreciation so at the beginning of 5th year means 4 years have been completed so 4 years into for 1 year the depreciation is 1,50,000 into 4 years if you do the depreciation will be 6 lakh rupees so 7,60,000 minus uh, 7,50,000 minus 6 lakh will be 1,50,000 so the carrying value is 1,50,000 Next, we have to find out the recover, recover, recoverable value. Recoverable value. So, recoverable value again at the beginning of 5th year. At the beginning of 5th year. Starting of 5th year. What is the recoverable value? We have to find out. To find out the recoverable value, we have to, uh, we have to compare with two values. One is fair value minus cost of disposal. Fair value minus cost of disposal. Another one is value in use. Value in use. Out of this, whichever is higher, we have to consider. So in question, they have given that if the company were to dispose the asset, it will it will get 1 lakh rupees. So similar asset, if it dispose, it will get 1 lakh rupees. So 1 lakh minus 0. There is no cost of disposal. They have not given any cost of disposal in the question. Value in use they have given it is 96,000. Whichever is higher. 1 lakh is higher than 96,000. So, recoverable value will be 1 lakh rupees. Recoverable value will be 1 lakh rupees. Now, we have to find out the impairment loss. The formula to find out impairment loss is carrying value minus recoverable value. Carrying value we have found out it is 1,50,000 minus recoverable value is 1 lakh rupees. So the impairment loss will be 50,000 rupees. Now we have to show the reporting entries. They have told us to even write the reporting entries. So for reporting entries there is a journal entry. Very simple journal entry. Impairment loss account debit. 2. PPE account to PPE account. What is the impairment loss? 
it is 50,000 to PP account you will transfer that 50,000 rupees this is how you need to solve the problem